All right, so we're here in Germany. As you can see, Shreve is driving. And uh, yeah, so we're, uh, we're actually headed to one of the biggest events, one of the biggest racing events and one of the coolest racing events. We're gonna explain why this is likely the one of the best events in the world. Uh, it's called the Nürburgring 24, and we're uh, on the ring. <laughs> and Hyundai was nice enough to uh, give us an i30N to take some laps at the ring. And we let Shreve drive because he's the only one of us who hasn't driven the ring. And I don't think he's ever been on a racetrack not sliding. Look at that. Big oh. curb. That's, yes. it. That's all that curb right there. In, in. And then on this right hand, there's track a out. big yep. carousel. Inside carousel. Stay in it, though. Yep. Stay down, stay down in it. Don't Dude, pop, don't I pop always, out. I always love this because it feels like a drop. Pop out. Yeah, Grippy Boy stuff's kind of fun. Yeah. Give him a clutch kick. Just give him one out of this turn. <laughs> Just give him one right out of this turn. Just give him, give it to him. You know you have to pay for the arm curve if you crash into it. Yeah, right here, right here. Here's your moment. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> So someone at Hoonigan, well I guess a lot of people at Hoonigan weren't paying attention, so Scotto, Ron, and myself decided we go to Europe with no adult supervision. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. But we're meeting up with Justin Shreve in Frankfurt, Germany, and then going to the Nürburgring. The, you know this is a Scotto suicide mission. Yeah, from the, the, the get-go. The last yeah, time Scotto, I guess Baja. I've been to Mexico with Scotto a bunch of times, so I'm kind of seasoned. But Scotto told me the last time he went to the, this event in particular, he slept in a ditch. Yeah, me, Tony Harbour, and Jack. Zero to six minutes. Look at that smile. <laughs> Look at the smile on Scotto's face when he says that. I don't know, time-lapse, 47 hour trip, Germany. Germany. So we bought a bus. Balling now, we got trays. Look at that. We got wood floors. And we got a Shreve. We got a Shreve. Oh, hey guys. Oh. <laughs> seeing you here. This, is, this bus comes with a Shreve. Yo, you look like Nicolas Cage from Gone in 60 Seconds. Okay, let's ride. You do have that vibe right now. No one has their shirt on. It's not that hot. I don't know if my summer bod came in yet, but I'm, I might take <laughs> it off. <laughs> so Hyundai was nice enough to invite us out for a helicopter ride around the ring. So Shreve and I are going to go check out the uh, Nordschleife uh, from the air. The sheer danger of motor racing on the public roads of Germany's Eiffel Mountains prompted the opening of the Nürburgring in 1927. The solution was not much safer. The Nordschleife's original 14.1 mile, 173 turn configuration was so challenging that ringmaster Jochen Rindt called the circuit difficult to drive, easy to die. Jackie Stewart famously named it the Green Hell. Formula One was convinced the ring was too dangerous, removing the Nordschleife from its championship calendar in 1976. Following Nicky Lauda's fiery wreck, Stefan Bellop's ring record lap in a Porsche 956 C stood for 35 years. In 2018, Timo Bernhardt smashed the record with a 5 minute, 19 second, and 55 millisecond lap in Porsche's ferocious 919 Evo. The Nürburgring 24 hours race combines the Nordschleif and Grand Prix circuits. With an entry list of up to 200 cars, it has become the most popular event on the ring schedule. Today, the Nordschleif remains open for public access. Any licensed driver can complete a lap for only 27 US dollars. Even with a safer track configuration and numerous automotive safety advancements, the ring still claims lives to this day.
How are you? enough that Hyundai is actually letting us just poke our heads around their pit while they're prepping their cars for the 24 hour race. They're customer cars. So these aren't actual like full factory cars, they're a customer program where you can straight up buy one of these and run it 24 hours of Nürburgring, TCR, Pirelli World Challenge, SCCA, all that stuff. And because we're such big fans, we figured that we'd support Hyundai by letting Brian give them tips on how to get their car running well. Is that what we're doing? Oh God, no, stop. <laughs> Brian's like, yo, so this is how you take this apart. Take it apart, you put it on the shelf, and then I don't envy your Talk about coming back to it six months later. We're the worst. We're the worst. Are you guys laughing at me? So it's our buddy G, hey. who... Hello. <laughs> straight G. Yeah, he was straight G. Straight G. Yeah, yeah. And of course, He's from Frankfurt, Germany. He works at Hyundai, but Scotto and Ron knew him from way back in the day. So, of course. Okay. What are we? What are we working with here? This is a normal Veloster engine, uh -huh. and we put some like a uh, some little bit bigger turbo. But okay. It's a, basically, it's a normal production engine. Yeah. And is that where? That's not where the turbo sits. Factory. Uh, yeah. The turbo sits like in the normal engine. Like it com combines with the engine, but the, mm -hmm. we put like a different way to make some yeah, like so, heat. So normally it's in the back behind there. And now behind you set so it off to the side. Se separate for, for like a cooling and right. package and, the and probably package. serviceability as well, oh, right? Exactly. Exactly. Should pop in and look at the interior. Right? Yeah. yeah. Sequential gearbox. Yeah. Six speed. Yeah. Six. Six. Uh, sequential gearbox. So you can see this panel on the like uh, knobs and everything. So it depends on the race situation. Then when there's a traffic or there is some kind of like a we, if you want to go faster, we change the engine map. Do you have some drivers that are a little more left-footed and you're like, stay on that economy map? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. We, yeah, so, but you know, <laughs> it's hard part to control drivers. Like, right. Everyone wants to put on the gas, but yeah. Yeah. now we are in the good team, so everybody understands the same goal. Oh, it's pretty impressive. Wow. And I mean, 24 hours, just like as we expressed, a lot of times, like, you've done the Baja 1000, it's a game of attrition, it's not a time attack where you're just going for the fastest lap. It's how to keep the car together, how to, you know, drive safe and not Fuel wad the thing up. Entire strategy. It's so much more than just going fast for one lap, yes. so. Super cool, we're excited to watch the rest of the race, okay. man, and uh, thank you so much. Okay. And uh, G's gonna do his best to try to get us in the seat of this. <laughs> Next year, 2020. Well, well, well. Where do we end up? How are we just saying, already? And that R is still on that card. <laughs>
Herta Hewer made it her mission to improve the quality of post-war Berlin's food offerings. She obtained English curry powder through a barter deal with British soldiers stationed in Germany. She mixed the curry powder with other ingredients to create the distinct new flavor. Frau Hewer's new dish was an immediate hit and soon after she opened a street stand. Competitors tried to replicate the recipe, but no one got it right. She never divulged the exact ingredients to anyone, not even her husband. When she died in 1999, Frau Hewer took the recipe to her grave. If I had taste buds, I believe I would enjoy a dish of currywurst. <laughs> best cheat code at an event like this. It gets you into everywhere and no one questions it. Like right now, we just snuck into AMG yeah. VIP hospitality. No, no, no. We snuck in all the way down there and managed to go across like... All of this VIP. So that's like two private parties, Aston Martin, and now we're at AMG. It's all because we got a vest. Well, you can tell the people aren't reading because this says TV and I'm holding a GoPro. <laughs> so like, I don't even think these two go hand in hand, you know? <laughs> Shreve doesn't even have a camera with him. And he's our camera guy. <laughs> the only camera guy has a cell phone. That's your gram though. You're getting quality stories. Oh yeah. Please. All right, so what's the plan? All right, so we got ourselves a ride up to uh, Flatsgarten, and we're gonna go up there, and then we're gonna hike our way back to the carousel, trying to come back this way, and then depending on how we feel, maybe hike back and come down, or go around this way and back up. Yeah, <laughs> sure, makes sense. Just to give you an idea. That's a solid plan. That's solid plan, is the right? most ambitious Scott O'Brien. By the way, by the way, just to give you an idea. 15 mile track. Just to give you an idea of the scale of this, that's like the GP course. That's the GP course. This is like, that's the rest of it. That's all those 14 miles. Yeah. But this is where all the fun shit is. Okay. Like carousel and like, yeah. It's all right. Luckily, we all get a lot of frequent exercise and do many 5K runs. So this is gonna be a lot of heavy breathing. That's a braking zone, so if you look, they hit the brakes before it, you let off on the These guys are getting air, by the way. Yeah, so the car gets air in the braking zone, so you have to brake, let off, jump, and then get back on the brake on that little yeah. down part. Such a crazy thing. German forest and behind it. Oh, oh my oh. lord. That's what it is to this, we, this is insane. We have to get the first. My, my, my. Look at you. Oh. Overlanding, they're like, yeah, that's cute. We bring out a container. Hey, your rooftop tent's cute and all, but just saying, we got that trailer top. Tent. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ron, raging face, living my best life. It's <laughs> completely Yo, raging. It's insanely good trackside ice cream. It's mind blowing. No, 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 no. That's not trackside. You bought that in the woods. Wood trackside. Woodside trackside. It's the tracks right there. Here you want to play a game, Philip? If I do, 
it? Can I get a beer? It, 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 it's, it's fast. Can right. I do it on the side? Okay. And that's the special trick. You have to have only one hit. Oh. And you gave it to the next one. Where you from? Oh. I got the first hit. The very first hit. Yeah. So I gotta stand back. Oh. Are you allowed to straighten? Is he allowed to straighten his? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. Oh, okay. oh, no. Where are you from? California. California. Nice. Very nice. Ah. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't be wearing those. He's <laughs> <laughs> steel toe cross. Oh, no. <laughs> toe on a hot track. Yeah, just drive around them. And then the other Hyundai came by and jumped the downhill next to the tow truck. <laughs> Love this place. Yo, look at this camp set up. These guys got a better hammer. Well, and a bigger log. Amazing. These people have a whole entire compound out here. Yo, this is straight up a house. Uh, Man's brought his whole living room out here. Is that a slot car race? Dude, look inside. Yo, it's a Hot Wheels race. They got spectators. Full on like track construction going on right now in the middle of a race. Full hot rod on that track out and we've got all that arm. Yo, how wild is it how close he could be to track here? Dude, right here. With, I mean, it's with the media vest, but still. And you're like, on top of the K-Rail for extra safety. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's not a slow corner. No, definitely not. Dudes are booking downhill. Yo, realize like right now, we are sitting maybe 10 feet from the track. And like, this is acceptable. And this is our job. <laughs> it's awesome. This is insane. This is shit. When we, when I first came here in 2007, it was like unbelievable. Like having gone for like racing events in America, just like a like the number of people here, but like the access you have. I mean, because realize, yeah, we have media vests on, but we're only 10 feet behind where everyone else is. Like you get, you're so close to the track, and the track's so narrow. So fast. Flicking House's P45 is racing here, but then there's also like a Manta B from the 80s. It's just wild. It's kind of nice to just be like enjoying the wilderness in the middle of a racetrack. It's the best playing hooky from work ever. You know what this actually is? This feels like rally racing for road racing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Full-on mayhem. Oh, this is amazing. I love this place. I don't understand this at all. Just whatever the f you want to do, whenever you want to do it. It's amazing. <laughs> This is the best bar I've ever been to. This is the best race spectating I may have ever done. It's also, it's like 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> so here at the N24, I take a moment, I'd like to take a moment to talk about German engineering, but not like race cars and shit. This fire, which other than just being rad and at the side of the track, is actually heating a tank of water that then heats the water for that bathroom right there. Wild. Shockingly genius. It's like it's it's so it's like backyard genius. It's the best backyard kind of genius. Oh. Look at that. Oh. This is like a it's like a DIY festival. It's it like DIY. Okay. You gotta race with like 200 cars and then you have unlimited space to do whatever you want, and this is what happens. Yes. 
sick of here at Carousel. This is like one of the most iconic turns in the entire world. But it's like a really bizarre turn. Like it's not smooth. It's like arguably not the fast line here. And like having driven it, it's like it's such a unique piece of terrain. Like you can watch like the cars as they go through, they just like scraping their splitter. But the most rad part about it is when you like get launched out of it, sort of like a big burn. So you just, just stay like in it real low and just get out the top. It's so awesome. Like you would never want to take a line that's that bumpy, but this is like so iconic that it's a part of the track. Yo, glowing brake rotors, sparks from the bottom, Vince blinding me right hey, now. Hey man, that's what you gotta do. Like, I haven't shot photos in like over a year and to be here and doing it at Carousel is psycho. It's unreal. into it wasn't me what's wasn't up me. bud <laughs> you enjoy yourself i mean yeah good times <laughs> in the ring he's well, a little sour because well, he had to carry the backpack up the <laughs> <laughs> instead of the lowest level you can find it's, uh, <laughs> it's your Smart mistake man. next time you come here you'll stay down here closest <laughs> to the bars dude i thought you already put out your video today uh, you're in the third video are you making a 2.5 day 2.5 baby yeah. Wait, put out a nighttime upload up. Oh. What the hell? Who put that rock there? That there? Dick. With the shoe breakdown. <laughs> Your boy pop. Oh my Your boy pop toes, man. Whenever you're ready, Brian. Can you wear like race specs? <laughs> like, do the stand up. This is, this is uh. It's like snug for a custom fit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's been a long day.